Welcome to Crypto Smasher. Here I talk about all things cryptocurrency and if this is your interest don't forget to subscribe to get notifications of new videos. In this video I will point out 8 key metrics to use when analyzing decentralized finance projects from an investment standpoint. The number of new decentralized finance, DeFi, blockchain projects keeps growing. Many digital landmines, such as rug pulls and protocol hacks, exist in the crypto ecosystem, much to the displeasure of cryptocurrency proponents who advocate for quick mass use of blockchain technology. Some of these indicators are similar to the criteria used to evaluate equities. Many of these signs, however, are more applicable to the crypto sector due to the extremely different nature of crypto investing. In truth, these metrics are only applicable to DeFi project tokens, not to other types of blockchain projects. 1. Price to sales ratio. In the realm of DeFi, the price to sales ratio, PS ratio, is a critical metric. It is calculated by dividing the token's fully diluted market capitalization by its 12 month revenue. In the case of DeFi, the revenue is earned from transaction fees and includes fees retained by the protocol as well as fees earned by token holders and liquidity pool providers. APS ratio of 1 to 2 is regarded as decent in traditional stock investment, while a ratio of less than 1 is considered exceptional. Given the DeFi industry's youth and quick evolution, these standard rules of thumb may not be very useful. Instead, the ideal application of the PS ratio is to compare a number of DeFi tokens using this metric. With the comparative approach, you may use revenues for time periods other than the normally applied 12-month period. For example, you may use the last 6-month revenues for the tokens you compare in the denominator of the ratio. This is useful due to many newer DeFi projects being less than a year old. However, the shorter periods may not be as reliable as the default 12-month period and are, often, only a trade-off measure due to the need to evaluate newer tokens. 2. Look for steady increases in total value locked. A second metric to look at when assessing the overall strength of a project is the sum of all assets deposited on the protocol, otherwise known as the total value locked, TVL. For example, data from DeFi Llama shows that the total value locked on the DeFi protocol DeFi chain, DFI, has been rising lately following a major protocol upgrade, with the TVL hitting new all-time highs on several days so far in December. This signals that momentum and interest in the project are increasing. Protocols with a higher TVL tend to be more secure and trusted by the community, while projects that rank lower on the list generally carry more risk and tend to have less active communities. TVL by itself is a great measure of a protocol's popularity. However, by concentrating on this metric alone, you may miss out on smaller but still promising DeFi projects. The TVL ratio is a measure derived by dividing the market cap of a token by its TVL. This indicator helps you identify smaller DeFi platforms that are performing well and potentially promising from an investment point of view. A smaller TVL ratio is often preferable. It indicates a protocol that might be undervalued and worth investing in. 3. Annual Yield from Staking Staking liquidity pools on DeFi platforms can be a good way to make money as an investor. The yields provided by DeFi methods can vary dramatically. The yield produced via LP staking is a crucial metric to keep track of. Given the volatility of many DeFi protocols, it is best to look at the annual, rather than shorter term, yields. Naturally, as the popularity of a protocol rises, yields are likely to decrease. The best yields are often found among smaller but confidently growing projects. Thus, annual yield can be a great way to identify promising and currently undervalued DeFi tokens. 4. Token Supply on Centralized Exchanges While DeFi tokens are all about decentralization, paying attention to the total supply of a token on centralized exchanges sexes, is useful for investment analysis. A large amount of tokens held at centralized exchanges may indicate a potential large-scale sell-off. Such sell-offs often result in the destabilization of the token. Therefore, watching out for these signs is an important due diligence step in your analysis. It must be stressed that a large supply on centralized exchanges is not necessarily a guaranteed whale action waiting to happen. Using token supply as an indicator should only be a part of your research into the token, along with the other metrics discussed in this video. 
5. Token movements on centralized exchanges. In addition to watching out for token supply, it pays to research recent token balance movements on centralized exchanges. This metric can provide additional intelligence into a potential whale action in the making. Token balances alone may not reveal a recent large-scale wave of withdrawals from exchange wallets. Looking at recent movements of the token may uncover substantial withdrawals with the purpose of holding on to large amounts of the token. Such large-scale actions may also indicate a future whale action that might negatively affect the token stability or supply. While both the token balances and the token movements are useful metrics, it is important to keep them in perspective. Frequent movement of tokens from exchange accounts to personal wallets and vice versa is a normal practice in the world of crypto trading. Only very substantial and highly uncharacteristic movements might indicate a period of future instability for the token. 6. Unique address growth rate. Another useful indicator is the change rate in unique address counts for the token. If the unique address count shows signs of rapid growth, it could point to the project quickly increasing in popularity. Naturally, it must be taken into account that this metric may be open to manipulation. A small group of people may create a large number of addresses within a short time period to give an impression of the project's popularity. Therefore, use this metric only along with the others to evaluate a potential DeFi project. 7. Inflation Rate Many DeFi protocols enact rules to ensure that their token supply will not lead to inflation and devaluation of the token. However, not all tokens are protected from devaluation by the platform rules. In some cases, the mechanism behind maintaining a limited supply of the token is unclear, or not even coherently specified by the project. When researching a DeFi protocol, it is important to look at the token's increase in supply and inflation rate. Tokens with a tendency to demonstrate high inflation rates in the past may be best to avoid. 8. Project Documentation Completeness Perhaps due to the mostly unregulated nature of DeFi, many projects with poorly documented details of their protocols have been launched. However, this has not stopped a lot of people from sinking their funds into these projects. When evaluating a DeFi project, a key indicator is the level of detail about the protocol provided to the public and potential investors. As a minimum, a project should have a white paper explaining the protocol's processes and tokenomics in detail. The governance mechanism and voting rights afforded to the token holders should also be clearly outlined. For example, what happens if your funds are lost by the protocol due to a security breach? Are you compensated? Do you have to wait for the platform users to vote on a potential compensation for you? Pay attention to these key details while looking through the project's white paper, website, and social media announcements. Though not a financial or operational metric, the completeness of project documentation is a vital indicator to take into consideration. Conclusion Researching an investment-worthy DeFi project may involve looking at a myriad of factors. However, the indicators outlined in this video should serve as the core set you can focus on. Among the covered indicators, the key ones are the PS ratio, TVL, and TVL ratio. However, disregarding the other indicators and only concentrating on these three may lead to missing out on important pieces of intelligence. For example, even the best PS and TVL ratio numbers will not give you an indication of a possible whale action with a potential to destabilize the token. You may only get a sense of such a scenario by looking at the token supply and token balance movements at centralized exchanges. In addition to the financial and operational indicators, take into account the DeFi project's clarity and completeness of documentation. Even the best performing protocol may not be worth the risk of investing in if your rights as a token holder are not clearly specified or you are not certain about the process of earning the LP staking interest. Thanks for your time and I hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to like, share and also subscribe to stay informed of new videos.